Hello my friends and welcome to another exciting unboxing. I've just returned from the post office with this pack and it should contain a quite interesting interesting vintage piece from America from the 1920s I believe. So I have here my cutter and let's start uh, wrapping this pack. It has this outer sleeve let's see if I can I'm trying to cut it as good as I can with this little cutter okay I'm just trying to remove this outer layer without damaging the original box let's see yes and it is a simple box no matter what I do to it so guys, let me see, I'm sorry, the cutter is right over here, let me place it there, and now let me cut this. So guys, I paid for this instrument 400 lays, including the shipping cost, the postal fee, and uh, 400 lay is the equivalent of 81.33 euros or 80.67 American dollars let's see so this is the pack guys and now let me see how I can open it like this I think now I will try to use my little cutter and I hope it will do the job okay like this now like this and that's it guys so quite well wrapped as you can see but it is a vintage vintage beautiful piece and i want to thank the seller for taking so much care in wrapping it and this is it and probably you already recognize it yes we have a waterman ideal guys a beautiful beautiful fountain pen what is interesting about this fountain pen it's it's wonderful wonderful clip it is the first time that I've seen this clip and uh, it's quite quite a nice clip as you can see on the barrel I hope that you can uh, read we have um, thermically engraved watermans registered us pattern of but no date let's see yes we have also on the barrel watermans registered us ideal pattern of fountain pen again no date the beautiful beautiful lever which ends in this sphere like um, baseball ball and engraved on it ideal here we have the number so this is an ideal 52 and other stuff engraved here watermans registered us patent of made in usa i'm uh, curious to see of course the nib because this is the main the main attraction of this fountain pen and look at this wonderful wonderful nib guys watermans ideal new york um i don't like the way it looks i think it's all better days but what i'm interesting in is yes this flex to it maybe it had some work done to it in time but i'm quite pleased with my find let me test this level filler if we have something no so no resistance there and definitely the sag needs to be replaced and you can see in some point during its lifetime it was replaced you can see a gap here between the grip section and the barrel a wonderful wonderful piece guys tell me what you think about this beautiful beautiful fountain pen and definitely it will uh, 
take its rightful place among the other watermans I have in my collection. I believe this is the second waterman ideal 52 that I have in my collection and of course I will do its review in a few days guys because I'm quite curious to see how this nib performs but definitely it had some problems you can see you can see some dents in it but the um, the end the tip of the nib seems to be in working condition we'll see how it writes guys so this was my unboxing of this wonderful wonderful piece this hard rubber piece you can see the patina of brown on it I think that this is made in the early 1920s it was made in America and again for 80 euros or 80 American dollars including the shipping cost I believe I've made I've scored a deal again it all depends on how that nib performs but I think only for this clip I've done the right choice guys Tell me what you think in the comments. This was my unboxing. Wherever you are, I want to wish you to have a wonderful day, my dear friends. I will see you again in the next episode. Till then, bye-bye. And God bless.